Red Feather from Grepax. In this credit video, we will be showing you how to use the Paste as Reference Image Tool and give a minor example of how it could be used. Open Krita, import the image you would like to utilize. Once this is done in Krita, it is time to decide if you will use the whole image or just a portion. For our example, we will use just a portion. Go to the toolbox and click on the rectangular selection tool. Then go to the Krita canvas, drawing a box around the portion to be used as a reference image. Then on the Krita title bar, go to edit. Scroll down to copy and click. Then go back into edit, scrolling down to paste as a reference image and click. Then go to the title bar, clicking on the select, scroll down to deselect and click. Then to the credit canvas, moving and resizing your reference image how you would like it. For our Krita example, we would just add a layer and place some color on our background. You may already have something prepared for your background to utilize your reference image with a project you've been working on in order to use this reference image within it. As you may have noticed, we pasted the same Krita reference image for our example. If I wanted to move both of these or all Krita reference images together, click on one reference image, then click and hold shift on the keyboard, clicking the next image. This puts them all in a box together. So let's say for this example, I like how these two credit reference images are set, but I would like to add some text or maybe another reference image Being on the Reference Image tool in the toolbox, go to the Credit Tools and Options. Now notice there are a few options here. For example, you can export Credit Reference Images as a set. You can load a Reference Image set or paste an image reference from System Clipboard. But the credit option we will be showing today is add a reference image. This can be any image you have saved to your system. In order to do this, click the credit plus symbol to add a reference image. Once the credit add reference image window appears, navigate to the image you would like to use. Highlight it and then click Open. Once this is done in Krita, move and resize the new reference image into a proper area. Once this is done in Krita, we will move all the reference images together for proper placement. Already being on the reference images, Click and hold shift. Then click on each of the other reference images, bringing them all into the same box. Then move in or resize them. Then off clicking on the canvas to release the box. But wait, I have decided the text image I brought in as a credit reference image does not work for me. 
and I want to try something different. In order to do this in Krita, having only the Krita text reference image selected, go to the Krita title bar, click on edit, scroll down to clear, delete, and click. So now let me go back into the Krita reference tools and options and add a different reference image. I may like better. So I like this Krita reference image much better, but also I like its red color. So let us change our background color to the red. In order to do this in Krita, go to the toolbox, click on the color picker tool, go to the color on the canvas you want and click to extract. Then click on the bucket tool in the toolbox, placing it on the canvas. Once this is done in Krita, make any final adjustments in size and or positioning. Once you are happy with how everything looks, it is then time to paste the actual images. Now Krita remembers the last image copied. Being that said, I will only have to paste my image. Go to the Krita title bar, click on edit, scroll down to paste, and click, go to the toolbox, clicking on the move tool, then to the canvas, moving the pasted image, lining it up to the reference image. Go back to the Credit Toolbox, clicking on the Transform, a Layer, or a Selection tool. Notice the reference image is semi-transparent. Go to the canvas, adjusting its size if needed. You can click back on the Move tool for repositioning if needed. So now let me paste the second image and reposition it at the Krita reference image position using the same procedure as the first. Now that we have the first two images taken care of, we need to import our third image. In order to do this in Krita, go to the title bar Click on File, scroll down to Import Animation Frames, and click. The Credit Animation Frame window appears. Click Add and navigate to the image to be used, and click Open. Then click OK. Once this is done in Krita, go to the Toolbox, clicking on the Move tool, lining up the image with the reference image. Once this is done, go to the Krita toolbox, clicking on the Transform a Layer or Selection tool. Then, to the Krita canvas, resizing the image to the reference image. Once this is done in Krita, and you are happy with how everything looks, it is then time to remove the reference images. Go to the toolbox, clicking on the Reference Image tool. Then on the keyboard, click and hold Shift. Then clicking on all the Krita reference images until they are all in the same outlined box. Then go to the Krita toolbar. Click Edit, scroll down to Clear, Delete, and click. Now it is time to prepare our newly created project for export. In order to do this in Krita, go to Layers, right click the top layer, scroll down to Merge with Layer Below, and click. 
keep doing this until you get to the final part of the export and then export away. I hope you have enjoyed this credit tutorial and found it helpful in some fashion and if so then why not give this video a like and while you're at it why not become a subscriber and ring that bell in order to be notified your way of newly released videos. I mean <laughs> after all ladies and gentlemen it is free. Now, the beginning and the end of this video has been provided by none other than Alex Abayu One. Thank you in advance. I am out.